I was diagnosed with bilateral retinoblastoma when I was five months old, which meant my left eye was removed. I have a prosthetic left eye and the right eye had radiotherapy done on it and has left me severely sighted. I just adapt and just get on with it. <laughs> to me, it's never been an issue. Um, obviously for Zoe, it's, it's created a number of issues for her over the years, um, especially with the, the kids as well but she copes very well with it. When my kids were growing up, sort of seeing them in a school play, I can't, I can't wait, work out where they are on stage, but I just used to have this constant smile on my face. <laughs> so if they were looking my way, they could see I was watching them. Some of it is tough, but sometimes you just got to say, well, life's what you make it. There's so much out there if you look for it and get in touch with charities like Open Sight that will put you in touch with the things that you would really like to do. Often when we meet people at the beginning of their journeys, they're very disheartened, they're, they're quite upset, they can be very emotional. Uh, we often have to get the tissues out. And when we work with them and see how they can get back into what they want to do. It really is quite astounding. So just keeping your arc width nice and consistent. Open Sight offered mobility training with a long cane and I've always yeah. avoided the cane because I think, you know, stereotyping, you know, long cane, you know. Um, but it gave me a bit more independence and confidence to actually go, yeah, I can, I'm still entitled to walk around here and go to the shop and go in the pub if I want to or go and have lunch with my friends. It just means I need this cane to just make sure that I'm okay in where I'm walking. I'm not going to walk into anything and making people aware that I have a sight problem. Uh, without it, I'd be lost. <laughs> Since she's found open sight, she's um, been a lot more adventurous. I never thought I'd be able to get behind a wheel, you know, and drive a car, for goodness sake. A simulating one, yes, I've done that, but an actual car, I'd never thought I'd be able to do that. But I did. She amazes me all the time. Uh, earlier on this year, she announced to us that she was going to go walk over the O2 Dome. It was scary, but it was amazing at the same time. She impresses me all the time with, with stuff that she does. Open sight have helped me get in touch with other visually impaired or partially sighted, severely sighted people, which is a fantastic. And they're of my age group as well. I wanted to meet people that wanted to go to the cinema or wanted to go for a pub lunch and wanted to go to Tembin Bowling, you know. But we all help each other in different ideas, tips, moans. We have a moan about different things. Um, and just generally going, right, what do we want to do? Well, let's, let's do this and we, we just do it. With the help that OpenSight offers, people can pick up their lives and have a happy, fulfilled life. Some people think that sight loss is the end of their lives and it is extremely daunting for them, but OpenSight's given them the, the tools to be able to get their life back on track. Definitely contact OpenSight, talk to them. They'll come out and talk through your needs and what you want to do in life and they will encourage you and help you and support you as much as they can and then you won't feel so isolated. There's no need to be sitting around doing nothing. You're entitled to be out there in the world doing what you want to do. So go and do it. Open Sight Hampshire is a charity that provides a lifetime of support to visually impaired people of all ages. We provide a range of practical and emotional support services throughout the county, including a unique home-based visiting service. For more information about Open Sight Hampshire and our services, please contact us by phone on 023 8064 one two four four by email info at opensite.org.uk by visiting our website at www.opensite.org.uk or by post to 25 
Church Road, Bishopstoke, Eastleigh, SO506BL.